When the series was still available on Netflix, Daredevil was one of the most popular spin-offs of The Defenders. After the contract between Netflix and Marvel was not renewed a few years ago, the rights moved back to the MCU, and thus the popular character could already celebrate its return in 2021 in Spider-Man No Way Home with a brief appearance. In today's original, we talk about the first solo project in the MCU and tell you everything you need to know about the 2024 Disney Plus series Daredevil Born Again. Have fun with our new video! Before thinking about the plot, one important question should be answered first. Is Daredevil Born Again a reboot, a standalone series, or even a continuation of the events from the Netflix series? Lead actor Charlie Cox already provided the answer in an interview with Entertainment Weekly towards the end of last year. According to Cox, the differences between his MCU role and his Netflix role are part of Matt Murdock's natural development. Still, in essence, they're one and the same character. Cox also addressed the fact that the Netflix series was rather gloomy, as the main character's life was simply under a lot of pressure at the time, and the mood was thus adapted to what was happening. When Cox's character made his first appearances in Spider-Man No Way Home and She-Hulk, the mood was clearly different and more lighthearted, so that Murdoch also finds his place in this world without being a totally different character. Nevertheless, it is considered almost certain that the series will be a reboot of the Netflix series. According to Cox, some aspects of the story will be retold, but other circumstances may be rewritten. Various favorite moments from the three seasons on Netflix will be shown again in a different setting. It remains exciting to see how well the MCU approach will be received by the audience. The Disney Plus series is written by Covert Affairs authors Matt Corman and Chris Ort, who are both working on an MCU project for the first time. They will be supported by Naomi writer Jill Blankenship and The Flash author Green Godfrey, both of whom have already gained experience at least at Marvel's competitor DC. Dexter director Michael Cuesta will direct the pilot episode. The Day After Tomorrow writer Jeffrey Nachmanoff will also be in charge of directing. Other directors have not been revealed yet. The series is to comprise a total of 18 episodes and will thus be quite extensive. This is also reflected in the duration of filming which started in March in New York and the surrounding area. Originally, filming was scheduled to take eight months, but due to the ongoing writer strike, the production will be delayed. It is currently impossible to say whether the completion of filming in November 2023 can be met. Provided there are no major delays, it will then be possible to watch the first episodes of Daredevil Born Again in Spring 2024 on Disney+. Plus. Apart from the main character Matt Murdock, who will again be played by Charlie Cox, many fans are asking themselves about other actors returning or suitable newcomers. One of the first confirmed comebacks is Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin, who could already be seen in the Hawkeye series released in 2021. Likewise joining the cast is Netflix actress Ilet Zur as Vanessa Fisk, Kingpin's wife. Michael Gandolfini, the son of Soprano star James Gandolfini, is also set to take on an unknown role. His experience, apart from The Sopranos prequel, The Many Saints of Newark, has so far been limited to supporting roles and rather unfamiliar films. Daredevil Born Again could therefore mean the big step into Hollywood for the 24-year-old. Just earlier this year, the signing of House of the Dragon actor Artie Frushin was also revealed, who is to play an important character named Harry. The absolute cast standout alongside Charlie Cox and D'Onofrio, however, is someone else, namely John Bernthal who once again graces us with his role as Frank Castle, a.k.a. The Punisher. In this case, fans will be primarily wondering to what extent the character retains his resemblance to the Netflix series, since The Punisher is definitely one of the more violent defenders. What are your wishes for the upcoming Daredevil series? Do you want a series that's as close to the Netflix one as possible? Or do you want something more similar to the MCU? Feel free to let us know in the comments!